Out, we were with you. That's how All right, y'all. Here we are, Outer Bank style. Doing a little Berkeley Gulp New Penny Shrimp. That's what we're gonna start out with. A little late out here this morning. We did want to do the first light action, but getting out here with uh, main man uh, Captain Aaron Beatson right here in the back. <laughs> Louisiana That's right. That's exactly where we're at. What else? This is my, there's a fish, right at the boat. That's not a bad one. All right, y'all, a little fishy. Right at the boat, bit my cork. See how big this guy is. He ain't bad, he's gonna be a keeper. You guys, when y'all catch yourself a nice trout, this is a tactic that I learned the hard way. Try and keep your trout under water. I know your natural instinct is to reel up and then the trout's head shaking out of the water. If you keep your trout in the water like I'm doing right now, it actually, uh, you know, the trout will not head shake as easy and come off I like off to frap him on the tail, make him swim a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, a little catch and cook status. We ain't gonna keep all of them, but you guys this morning, we're out here. We're going to try and show you guys some really awesome fishing out here in the Outer Banks with our buddy, Captain Aaron Beetson. And we're going to keep a few of these guys. We're not going to keep a ton of them. We are going to need to do. get up off your butt, catch some of these trout here in the That's fall. Right. All right, y'all, there it is. There's our beautiful speckled trout. Hey, quiet down, quiet down. It's okay. We'll get you some company down there. We, uh, Christian, we like to celebrate diversity in our coolers. We have a redfish speckled trout. But hey, you guys, I want to talk to y'all to y'all about one quick thing here. This, this is Aaron Beetson. You guys know him, the Cobia killer. He runs Carolina Sunrise down here in the Outer Banks. Um, Aaron is not only a really good friend of ours here at One Fish, Two Fish, friend of the channel, but he's also just an amazing person, expert angler, and just, I don't know, just an awesome, awesome person. So Aaron and I, we had a really good idea. We got to talking. You guys, y'all call us and comment on our you know videos and stuff that y'all want to come fishing with us. Christy and I, we are not charter guides. Did you just get bit? Yeah, I just missed one. So anyways, what? Y'all can come fish with us now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna partner up with Aaron and it's kind of gonna be almost like, oh, you get bit? Mm. So anyways, you guys, so it's almost like a combination of come out, hang out, fish with, you know, Christy and I, myself, but also fish with Aaron. Let's do it. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. Anyways, you guys, that's it. Um, we're gonna get back to fishing. Oh man, we're getting bit left and right, y'all. Aaron just got bit, Christy just got bit. I'm gonna put the camera down. We're gonna get back to trout fishing. Captain Planet here. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. Woo! Those are some serious head shakes right there. All right, so what we're looking for right now are some slicks in the water. Basically, it's just fish feeding on other fish and it's the oils kind of coming to the surface, so. We are cruising along the shoreline, headed for that duck blind and looking for these slicks and casts into it. The fish are big enough, there's obviously going to be like water disturbance and boils in the water and so now I just kind of cast into it. Smells like a good fish. Babe, get, my, get the net, get the net. Get the Ooh. net, Anderson. Hurry! That's, that's Faster. Jeff, you're not moving fast enough. Babe, 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 babe. Oh, yeah. Babe, babe, babe. Actually, get with the program. <laughs> you beautiful look at that that's why we worked so hard for that fish pink boom rod. that's how we get it done with my pink custom rod from Aaron all right y'all finally got myself on a nice little trout this morning and we've been just fishing the shoreline beats Aaron's in on a trout right here. he's on a trout and we are doubled up a little uh tag team that's a real one boy pretty work son. here we go nice we are. All right, y'all. We finally have located these fish, and uh, Christy's taking her selfies right here. Hey. Doing her selfie thing. Gotta do it for the gram. <laughs> That's all right. right. Get ready. For the gram. So yeah, we're just working. Uh, working like a little drop off, you guys. We fished all these grass lines and everything. We found these fish on a nice little drop off. Check it out, y'all. Doubled oh. up. Oh. Oh, he got me. 
big old tail slap in the face. I know, right? There's a fish. There we go. All right, y'all. Yeah, it is. I'm on a nice little speckled trout. Dang, this guy's fighting pretty good. Dang, this is a blast on these little trout rods. Boom. All right, y'all, there it is. Second little keeper fish of the day. Oh, and she's on. It's a nice one. Oh, yeah. It's a nice one. Here you go, buddy. Bang, bang, boom. That's how it's done. All right, y'all, there it is. Here, Boom. Put one in Two there. speckies. I'm going to let this guy go. Here you go. All right, you guys. So we were fishing these grass lines right up here. Um, but we kept seeing just a bunch of action, like, off of the grass lines. So, um, you know, I don't know. So whenever you guys are trying to locate fish and these trout, you know, they will school up. So if you catch one, ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That is a very good one. That's a trout right there. Christy, you got the net. Oh. Here, can you net it? Yeah, so as I was saying, you guys, we were uh, casting right up against the grass lines. And uh, we have just found this school of trout. Here we go. Cool. There we go. That's what it's all about, you guys, right there. That is a beautiful fish. Yeah, so we were fishing the grass lines, and then we saw this activity coming off the grass lines, and that's just where it's been. So when you guys are trying to look at these schools of trout, you know, you want to try fishing different areas, cast up against the grass lines, come on the drop-offs. So it's just something about it. These fish are just right here. All right, y'all, I'm going to let this one go. We've got enough meat in the cooler for for a nice little fish fry tonight. Right. You guys, about every like 10 or 15 casts, give it a nice little squirt. I'll just rub it under my armpit if I ain't got no protein. <laughs> <laughs> They're here. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang. Got to keep your hand on the trigger or rip it out of your hand. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. They are here. Found them again. Woo. Nice. Wow, that one is a good one. All right. I'm going to try and boat flip mine. I don't know. I'll be as good as Aaron. Aaron's got the boat flipping skills. Pretty fish. All right. Yours can eat my first snack. All right. Got him tail wrapped, lasso. Right. There we go. Woo! You guys, nothing better than seeing this hot pink rod, my lucky rod, bowed up. It's ride right now. This fish hasn't come up yet. Hopefully, it's a good one. Please be like a 22 incher. It's a gator. So big. Not bad. Oh, we're up. Alrighty. All right, you guys. So, uh, Christy and Aaron. So, Christy and Aaron are still fishing the popping corks. I'm gonna change it up. Fish the mirror lure. You cannot beat a good mirror lure bite. So, go ahead and whip this. Uh, there's one right on the drop. Look at that. Yeah, I'm the mirror lure. That's a good one. The good thing, you guys, you're going to catch a lot of fish on a popping cork, but you get one on a mirror lure, it's going to be a nice fish. You also know it's a nice trout sometimes when they stay down. Small, oh, there he goes. He came up. Check him in the boat. Look him. Mirror lure style. Right in the face. Wow. Right in the face. Right in the face. Always a nice fish when you catch one on the mirror lure, you guys. So this guy hit it on the fall. Didn't even have to work it. 
All right, buddy. Grow up into a gator. Another tip when you guys fish a mirror lure, you kind of want to fish it on a loose drag, not too tight. Those treble hooks, they will hook that fish. You don't want to pull those little trebles out of that fishy's mouth. A few different ways y'all can work a mirror lure. You can just steady retrieve them, just like you were trolling them behind a kayak or a boat or anything, that'll get it done. You can also, because these are like slow sinking are the ones that I'm fishing with right now. So you can steady retrieve, just like so. You can also let it sit, give it a little tap tap, the uh, rod tip, give it a little action there as you're steady retrieving. Or you can just kind of fish it just like a jerk bait, like bass fishing, just right there. Yeah, that right there. Don't be afraid to put some pro cure okay. on the mirror lures. The My buddy just texted me a picture of like a five pounder. Yeah. Off -rooting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it tuck? Oh. Good. Good. Dude. Good. That's right. That's right. Mirror lure bite. Yeah. Good mirror lure bite, y'all. Oh, yeah. We'll take it. Take it. Come in here. Y'all, check this out. Three fish. I feel like Captain Planet here. <laughs> but look at that. Fish you know it. You hear yep. That's like a 15, 16 oh. incher. Christy's got a keeper. Everybody in the club catching fish. They ain't coming to shop, they coming to buy. Ooh, baby. Oh, dang. Hot day. You guys hear that drag? My drag is pretty tight, too. Oh, boy. Oh, All right. Jeff with the net. With the net. Dang, this guy's really fighting hard. Yeah, they are. They, are. they want it. Ooh. Dang. I know. Sorry. I'm just. Ooh. All right, babe, babe, babe. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, son. Oh, son. Get me some of that. All right, y'all. We are on the bite. Check this out. Aaron's hooked up right here. <laughs> and Christy's got herself a nice fish. Look this might that. be the speck of the day. Check out this guy. Nice. Look at that. Oh, good size. Right here. <laughs> Trying to show y'all something. Specs on specs on specs. That's what it's all about. We're just fishing this line right over here. And tons of these guys just stacked in their little honey hole. So that's it. You want to get a pick? All right, y'all. So today was just an awesome day. You know, out here with my boy, Captain Aaron Beetson, Carolina Sunrise, the Cobia Killer, as he's known here on the Outer Banks. His charter business is Carolina Sunrise. But you guys, seriously, we had an awesome day fishing, and it's not just about catching fish. You know, it's sometimes you know, a little bit more than that. Sometimes it you. is. That's right. Sometimes it is about catching fish. But anyways, you guys, that's why we just love being out here, Captain Aaron Beetson. You guys, if y'all want to come fish with Christy and I, hit us up. But Aaron, today, what do you think about that bite? It's pretty good. Glad you guys were able to check it out. I'm glad Christy and Jeff made the time to come down here and visit us and just really have a fun day fishing. We always try to target something and catch something special. But today, we just went out for a good time and ended up being a really good speckled trout bite. So get your corks out, get your plastic, get your Pro Cure, get your mirror lure, whatever. It's a time of year to get out there and get after it. So thank you guys for watching and thanks for coming. That's right, y'all. Peace. Peace out.